Something feels different. What could it be? Oh, I know. There's a grocery store. Well, kind of. Jokes aside, I've spent probably about three hours clearing out all of this. So now there's more opportunity for building and spawn. But I wasn't out, but also, I started this. I had to stop myself and start recording, otherwise I would have done the whole build. So, this is the layout for our wonderful store so far. Um, it's so far at its peak. It's three blocks tall and green right now. This is not the full height of the build. That's just what I wanted to get uh, put in. I don't need any of these. So we're going to go ahead and put those away. And toss these aside. Let's see. I want white, yellow, and some quartz. I also want some beautiful white stained glass as well. So, and what should I do for the floor here? I got no plans going into this. I'm just going along as I feel fit. Let's see. Most stores have tile-ish flooring. I don't want to just use any plain old thing. Uh, I don't want to use wood. Maybe andesite? So I'll give it the checkered floor look. Or I could use a whole new block in general. Oh, that's strange. They put that in there. I might use stone. Does stone sound like a good idea? I don't know. I don't know. Let's use sandstone. I think sandstone will be the perfect block. So why don't we get started on the floor? Starting here. Yeah, I think that looks nice. It'll give it a different, uh, it'll add in a little bit more color, and since there's already going to be some, uh, yellow in the build, that's the word I'm looking for, it'll look really nice. Oh yeah, I'm Fate Tales, by the way, if you didn't already know that. And if you didn't know that, you must be new to the channel, which is probably more likely than not true, but who knows. But, if you are enjoying this wonderful Wednesday off, because that's apparently what's going on today, yay! Thanks, Rain. You not only made my day, but you also ruined my day. Speaking of which, nope. How did the rain ruin my day? Well, in school I have this class called Child Care, where we basically get a class full of preschoolers, and we teach them as if they were in preschool. Although, we, it kind of is. My lesson was science today. I was going to be teaching today. But, I don't get to teach my kids today. Because I'm at home. Because of the rains and the cold. So now, I don't get to teach the science lesson I've been hyped to teach for about two weeks. And... I don't get to do anything else. I mean, I get to skip a map testing day, which is great, but that's not what I wanted. I really am upset about that, but whatever. Oh no, I just made it darker. Oh well. Anyway, we have a store to build. Like I've been saying I was going to do. Creative build, of course. Most builds that we're going to be doing in spawn are going to be creative because I'm too lazy to go and gather actual resources. And because this is a community based area, might as well spend the time just to build it by hand in a creative way. Because I hate working in survival, it's just not as much fun for me. Unless I'm doing like simple things like a bit of redstone here and there and yeah. But hey, we got all this going on. We got a nice sandstone floor giving us a good texture and a good floor style. A little bit of lag every here and there. 
we're gonna get this going. Um, what's the plans after we build this? No idea. Oh, I never showed you guys the, uh, build after it was finished for Baka's house yesterday. Yesterday? I didn't finish it yesterday, I finished it a couple days ago. But let me install this floor and then we'll go check it out. I've been very busy these past two days on the server. And I've and there's been more people active on the server lately. We've now incorporated uh role playing onto the server. Not really. Role playing is bound to happen. But we actually got into role playing functions given the court. Okay. So the build's done. Bakker's now living in it. He's rejoined the server. Yay! So let me grab my sword so I don't break nothing. There we go. So here's the finished build, his signature banner. I added some bushes, some green plants because his color is green. Here's the kitchen area. Completed with more banners, a couple chairs, a little bookshelf. I've moved his stairs so it accommodates for the build a little bit better. He's got a little living space, a bedroom, also completed with a banner, and then a nice little porch area. And then I had built this other house, which was claimed by Infinity Chip, good friend. His house is a different design. Smaller than what I would normally build for this type of house, but as it, it is what it is. It's not really moved in that much, though. Uh, moved the kitchen down here since the space that's normally the kitchen is too small. I've got no idea what's going on down here, so... Yeah. Okay, that aside, let's go and shut these doors, and we'll go ahead and go back to our build. Oh yeah, and since I've been clearing stuff, some pandas spawned. Yay! Okay, so now that that's done, our next layer is going to be white concrete. Just want one layer of con or the white concrete, just to break up the color. Give it a little bit more color. I'm kind of stealing a design off of a store design I briefly remember that I was going to build, but I don't remember the design and I'm too lazy to go look it up, so I'm kind of just basting it from memory. This is not going to look anything, well, it's going to look similar, but it's not going to look exactly like his build. In my head, I'm thinking like half all of these, half that guy's build. And I don't even remember who it was, and I'm too, and again, I'm too lazy to go look it up. And then we'll do a final rim of yellow. Should I make it too high? Because it's already a pretty tall build, being five blocks now. Should I make it six? Yeah, I'll make it six. We'll go ahead and add another yellow block layer. Because either way, there's going to be a seventh layer for the roof. But that's okay. So, how are you guys today? I'm doing pretty spiffy myself. And what's great about having these tall walls is I could put in nice windows. I'm going to do something out the front here. So I could connect it kind of with the road. Excuse me, my hand is itchy. It's a weird feeling when your hands are itchy. It's just tingles. I don't care much for that. Oh yeah, now there's more ocelots. So with the uh, vast burning of the jungle, I've opened up a lot of space and spawning space. So I'm not destroying a habitat, I'm actually creating one. Because now animals can actually spawn here. Alright, that's done. I'm going to go ahead and find a find my ground level. 
which it would be in the middle here. And then I get to make two high windows. Because stores are kind of sad when you don't have any windows. But mostly the windows go out the front, like right here. And then I'm going to tear away these. And replace this with glass. Because I feel like the more open the doorway, the nicer it will feel, I guess. Because then it'll feel more like an open door. Because this isn't going to be a door that closes. It's going to be an open door. I need my stone bricks. Ooh, why did I have to make it even? Oh well. We'll extend out the stone pathway. And we'll go ahead and start trying to bring in this pathway over. I didn't mean to break that. Let me see. Maybe two more should do it. Yep. And then it should be able to connect right up. I'm trying to keep all the builds at a safe distance apart from one another. I've also been doing a lot of terraforming in the area, so that way it uh, allows for more building accessibility because sometimes because this area has a lot of steep slopes, which are not really build productive. Like, I flat, I tore out a lot of area over here, because it's like, it wasn't really build appropriate. So I needed to fix that. Okay, for a second, I thought I threw away my sword. Alright. Then we can go ahead and connect this little pathway to the store. We'll have to wait for the grass to grow for it to be all finished, but I, but I think it should be fine. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend up the green as such. Like that. I might bring that actually out to the corner here so that way everything can line up nicer and then I'll go ahead and take the quartz run it along like this then I'll use the slabs like this so I'm not just totally covering up the window. Then we'll do it like that. Just barely the overhang. And there's the grocery store's entrance. Get a nice protection from the rain. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and roof off the inside here. Because now we have that finished. I'm liking where this design is going. I kind of, I really do like it. It gives it a very, it feels like a, a little mini market like a gas station kind of look but it feel but when it's all said and done it'll look like a grocery store this is I don't know what I'm gonna call it I thought of fate's grocer but at the rate of builds I do I might as well just call this fate town even though it's spawn 
but I've been building so much of everything that it just might as well be my town. Although I'm working on my own town some thousands of blocks away. <sighs> There we go. Much better. So how is everybody on this wonderful Wednesday? Or Thursday, depending on when I release this video, because I don't really know. This was a spontaneous recording, because I had nothing better to do today. I was going to do some knitting, but didn't really feel it. But I had done some already, and it doesn't really change my boredom anymore. I have a great lighting idea that comes from the uh, video that, it's not really my idea, it's from the video that I'm kind of taking this design from. Because I remember that, and I kind of liked that idea. I'm not even basing this on any measurements, I'm just building it. I'm surprised I even remember this design. So at least that's nice. I should look up more designs for builds. Or maybe people should join and pull with some of their own ideas. I mean, you'd have to gather up the materials because we're not giving anybody creative mode that easily. This is supposed to be a survival server. That's why I'm building a grocer. The grocer will have cheap foods for not diamonds putting some businesses out of commission. Although the Asian market sells chicken, but I might not sell chicken here. I might sell raw chicken, like raw produce. Not much not so much cooked produce. Because you don't get raw you don't all well you can get cooked uh foods from a grocery store. Not my grocery store. If you want raw, if you want cooked food, you'll go to the Asian market and get yourself some cooked chicken. Or you come here, get yourself some raw steak, and you cook those up. There. And what's great about using white for a roof is, from what I hear, it actually helps give the build some height. Like, it gives it an imaginary height. Oh, that's the wrong block. I might put a window in here, too. So that way there's more to let in some light from this beginning area. Because there's not that much light in this part of the build. But the rest of it will have all that light. Alright. So let's go and do the lights. Alright, so I can get away with the glass and the sandstone. And actually the rest of my blocks because I won't be needing these. So I need end rods. Here we go. And this is why I use this build is so high. The lag today is real though. No, it's not where you go. Eh. There we go. Now things are working. I do it like this to complete the pattern. Beautiful. I'll do one running along this edge. I'm supposed to fill the whole roof with them, but meh. I think there's a not this gives out a lot of light for the build already. I might put one is this a one block center? Wow, it's an unintentional one block center. 
That'll work out for when I build the aisles. And there. All lit up. I think it is anyway. I'll go ahead and put one here too. There we go. I like it. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Uh, chests are used. I'm gonna bounce between these two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use stone slabs to make shelves and display stands. I won't be needing those. Um, let's just try to make the aisles first. Because since it is a even number, I might cut the corner there. Because then I want to kind of add like a little back stand here. Kind of like that. Let's see, if I make one row like that. Hmm. How should I do these shelves here? Oh. Ooh, and then what I could do, since I'm not going to be putting anything in the corners. Uh... Right there. I can run some up along the edges here. And that'll give some extra light. Awesome. So then, one, two, three. Oh, the windows are getting in the way. Like that. And I could do just trap just chess. I don't know what I'm gonna be selling in this section yet. One thing at a time. Mm, I'll get rid of this. The shelves will just be too high. Come on. Work with me, lag. Just trap just. Yes. Beautiful. Then I'll go ahead and build this up to the same height. Now it feels kind of like a grocery store. With all the wonderful shelving units. So let's see, this would go to this height. If I were to keep it all relatively the same. And then, if I wanted to keep an equal space, I could have a small shelf right here. Alright, let's put in some more shit. Let's put in some more chests, shall we? Cause this place has to be filled to the brim with supplies. Lag. The lag is real today, ain't it? Ta da. Still kind of dark. Mm. Aren't there sandstone slabs? There are sandstone slabs. So then, what I can do is 
so that and underneath we could put some end rods and cover them inconspicuous light do that every now and again awesome I'm gonna try to keep the light sources under the shelves so that way it's like not too conspicuous that they're there but they are there you know yeah looks like we're almost out of video time sad alright and then I get to put one more here and that'll kind of be the base design of the uh, store here. That's not where that goes. Let me get some dirt so I can cover the spotches. No, it goes there. It goes there. Beautiful safe around here. Alright, let's work out a center section. Keep these off to the side. Now in this center section is going to be like a fruit section, so it's like I'm going to have like little pallet things here. Actually I might give more space. Like that. I'll make like little 3x3 three three Palette spaces. That store fruit, like uh, watermelons and pumpkins. You know, pumpkins aren't fruit, but whatever. Kind of like that. See. I think that should do. Decorative pumpkins. And then I'm going to put another one right here. And then I'm going to reflect what I have on that side of the store on the other. But I'm going to do that off camera because you kind of get that. Alright, I think that will conclude today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this making of the store. I'm going to go ahead and finish it off camera. Stuff it full of foods and price tag everything. And then we'll come and look at it again tomorrow. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please be sure to smack that like button before you go. And consider subscribing if you're new to get uh, updates on more content such as this. Bye guys.